we buy adventure and dual sport motorcycles to expand our riding experience beyond the pavement. So to really get the most out of off-road riding, we should master fundamental techniques that will allow us to tackle gnarlier, more rewarding trails and milk every ounce of goodness from these amazing machines. So this video isn't about popping perfect 180 wheelies or pivot stoppies on our big huge adventure motorcycles. Instead, it's three basic tips that all off-road riders should master because once you can do these and know when to use them, you'll greatly expand the types of trails that you can conquer. The way I see it, the order goes like this. Sit in the easy stuff, then stand when it gets moderate to difficult, and then when it's hard enough that you could lose all momentum, go ahead and waddle. Off-road, almost everything that can be done sitting can be done better, safer, and easier while standing, except for one thing, tight turns. So here's tip one. When turning, sit up near the tank to put the weight on the front forks and lean the bike under you while keeping yourself mostly upright. Other than that, sit to conserve energy when you can, but don't rely on sitting alone. Every rider who wants to excel off-road needs to learn to control their bike while standing. To neglect this fundamental is to limit your riding profoundly in speed, safety, and comfort. It also limits the tools you can use to conquer obstacles and conserve energy. Seat bumps, preloading, jumps, de-weighting, useful wheelies, clearing obstacles, those are all needed in trail riding and they're all done easiest while standing. Because it's so important, we'll be doing another video that covers only standing, but possibly the biggest tip to standing is to keep your weight forward. You should never feel like your bike is pulling you. Tip two is to stand in the attack position with your knees and elbows slightly bent and your chin over the bar. Keep a fairly loose grip and rely on your legs more than your arms and butt to keep you comfortably forward and in control of your motorcycle. Standing prepares you for whoops, jumps, ruts, potholes, really any obstacle that could jar those front forks. Standing lets your knees and arms act like extra suspension, which lets the bike flow under you. The motorcycle should feel like it's pushing you forward, not pulling. If you're getting pulled, you're going to get arm pumped, so try and get more weight forward if you feel that way. Now standing doesn't always mean that your butt's not touching the seat. Good riders often skim the seat when riding, but their weight is still low on the peg so the body can move along the seat to get weight where it needs to be for traction. Hill climbs in particular are a fine balance between weight on the rear wheel to keep traction and weight on the front wheel to keep control and to avoid this. <laughs> And now for the waddle. Generally waddling happens when you get a bit out of control or pick a bad line or don't have a good run up to an obstacle. That's just part of riding sometimes. And as adventure riders, we're on big bikes with DOT tires and we're going to lose momentum and things are going to get ugly at times. So waddling correctly and safely is a good thing to learn because it preserves trails and keeps traction and gets you to places where you want to go. Now there is no shame in waddling, but use it really sparingly. Enduro riders waddle in the toughest situations, but only after they've lost momentum. While waddling is the go-to when you lose momentum over an obstacle, it shouldn't be the go-to on every single obstacle. Waddling when you already have momentum can catch your foot and throw you out of control, so try not to dangle your feet when riding challenging terrain. You'll find much more control with your feet right on the pegs. So for tip number three, when waddling, resist the temptation to try to push the bike over the obstacle with your toes. Instead, focus on pushing your weight down near the back of the seat and let the weight make the rear wheel push you forward. If your butt leaves the back of the bike from trying to awkwardly hike with a motorcycle between your legs, weight is gone, traction is gone, and the tires just spin, and that wrecks trails. Think of it as using your legs to first stabilize, then to pull yourself rather than to push. It might help to try to use your heels more than toes when you try to waddle. So if you're serious about riding off-road, practice tight sitting turns, waddling to regain control and traction when you lose momentum, and standing for just about everything else. Do these things and you'll know when to use each to keep you safer, ride faster, conserve more energy, and most importantly, push ahead to develop your skills. In the end, all this means more trails, more scenery, and more adventures, which is why you got that bike in the first place. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentle tubers. Please subscribe for more videos every Saturday. And check out this video to the right to see how enduro pros like Graham Jarvis and Johnny Walker use standing, sitting, and waddling on the Iron Giant of Erzberg. Much love. Ever ride out.